Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel. Uh, just doing a quick solo game. Um, doing ten minus the ten mi uh, EIK ten minus three format. So uh, yeah, this is for all you solitaire lovers out there. Um, okay, cards that I'm not gonna keep. Well Builder. Cards that I'm gonna keep. Um, Probably Chief's Daughter. So I see I have Writing Desk. So that tells me I want to play six occupations. So Chief's Daughter. Chief is like a eight point action. Grocer plus Plow Maker. And then I think Carpenter and Clay Hut Builder. I think that's what I want to do. So maybe one wood room, two clay rooms, renovate to a five room stone house. Yeah, and then my fifth one will be hmm, Forester would give me a ton of wood. I'm not sure. All right, let's look at my miners. Swan Lake, two points, pretty easy pick. Writing desk, good card, especially in a solo game. It gives you more actions. Um... The rest of these are fairly weak. Cooking Hearth. Um, hmm. I guess I can do Simple Fireplace Cooking Hearth. That seems okay. And then... What? Probably want stuff that'll give me stone. So I think Stone Exchange would be alright here. It would let me do... Um, if I have extra clay from Clay Hot Builder, let me grab an ex some extra stone. And then Spindle, I'm unlikely to play. Actually, maybe I would play Spindle. Hmm. Holding breeding pair of sheep is always nice. Yeah, maybe I'll take Spindle just in case. And then... Uh, Flagon. It's four. So I'll remove these three, and I'll remove, I'll keep Fence Builder actually. I might play Fence Builder, put it on the three wood space, get rid of Forester, Well Builder, and ooh, do I want to get rid of Farm Steward? Farm Steward lets me grow earlier. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Let's try to lay these out so that they can be seen somewhat reasonably. should be able to fit these all on the same part of the screen yeah nice I like that okay uh, so yeah you don't want to take um, accumulating spaces until they've accumulated a lot so yeah just to start off the game Occupation play Carpenter. And then Day Labor. And here Sheep came, so that's good for me. So I could take Clay and then Simple Fireplace and then Cooking Her. Hmm. I'd like my sheep to accumulate nice and high though. So maybe fence builder, maybe I play fence builder here. Yeah, let's give this a shot. And 
second action um, to clay. And then here, um, I think I want to grab sheep next round. So if I grab sheep, I have two that I can eat. So I need to gain one more food somehow. So I could just do fishing. Yes, yeah, so I can let wood accumulate again. So my second action will be fireplace, and then my first action will be, uh, I think I like three reed here. No, I need to get one more food. So I'll just do fishing. And uh, fireplace. Um, do I do simple fireplace? I guess I do. No, I do fireplace because I wanted to uh, cook right away. And uh, now I can do this take and I can build a pasture to hold sheep in with my second action. So I hold a sheep which I breed and then I feed. Oh, I have to feed my people three food each. I forgot about that. Yeah, in solo game. So yeah, so I barely have enough food. Good to know. Uh, so no family growth, but I want to set up for it anyways. So I think uh, five read and then build room. And with my carpenter, my room only costs me three wood and two read. And there's family growth. So one of these actions will be family growth and then the other one will be So family growth and writing desk, I think. Or family growth spindle. Ooh, spindle is not gonna be it's gonna be worth one food. Whereas writing desk will let me get other stuff going. Let's try spindle. And then my other action will be to take four clay. which will be enough to reno and play something. I don't have any stone available, so yeah, I think four clay here is okay. And then this is just um, take wood and do one, two, three, four, five. And then take sheep. And then Reno writing desk, I think. So then I feed, I get two food from spindle, and then I have to eat two sheep, so I go down one. So 
I think I grab five food, my writing desk, play clay hot builder, and play uh, grocer. So what is grocer? Vegetable, reed, clay, wood, vegetable, stone, grain, reed. And then I also get the clay hut builder. And that costs me three food. And then I have one more move. So I'm probably going to build room family growth next round. Family growth place Swan Lake, most likely. So then my other moves should be what? I have one more move that I'm not sure what to do with it. Maybe just start plowing. I do want to fill up my farm. Okay, so if I family growth here, I need to feed 10 food. Is that correct? How much did I feed last time? I fed spindle and then two sheep. I only fed six in the last harvest. Should have been nine. So that means I need to take away two sheep. Oh, that's annoying. And I get one more food. So if I grow here, I need to feed 10 food. So if I take sheep, two food from spindle, and then... What? I could buy grain and bake it. Maybe I'll hold off on my... So what would my actions be? So I'll, I'll build two rooms at once. Yeah, I won't build one room. So I think I want to need to do the sheep here to get enough food. And then I think I want to do... Hmm... This is probably all the reed I need for the rest of the game, unless I'm going to build Basket Maker's Workshop. Which I could do. There is three stone there. Hmm. Getting the well would be nice. So I want this to go up to above 6, because once it gets above 6, I can do all the rest of the fencing I need and then take the one wood I need to build uh, the well. Hmm. If I do build the well, will I have enough stone to get to a stone house? I want to do a 5 stone house room, I get one here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight stone available for me on the board. That makes nine. So I only have four stone to do other stuff with. Um, I do have stone exchange, which does help me a bit in that regard. So I have 11. So I can do well and basket makers workshop or well and an oven or something. I'm going to play Swan Lake. I think the food will end up being useful. And then this last action.
I have three, five, and then two sheep is nine. Okay, that works out all right. So I can do anything with this last action. Like take four. Don't really have anything I particularly want to do. I probably will want to start eating the boar after it breeds. So yeah, so I feed three food, two from my spindle, and then two from there, and the boar breed. Yeah, that works out okay, I think. So I want to build a room next round. I want to build two rooms next round. I don't need defense now, particularly. Maybe I need to do stone oven. That'll be the way that I buy all my grocer goods. There's enough. One, two, three, four. I need eight food to buy all of them. So I could do something like grain, four stone, stone oven. And then eat a sheep. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Grain, four stone, and then stone oven. Although well is worth one more point. Hmm. Let's try this. And then I use that eight to buy well, okay, first what I do is I use a sheep to buy that and that, and then I bake those two. Yeah, so that sheep goes away, and now I gain um, one, two, and buy the rest of the goods. Now here, I can build two rooms. For three clay each, and four reed. And so then if I grow, I'm gonna need 10 food total, so four and then one from spindle and then uh, if I use reno cooking hearth I get three from the hearth uh, three from a boar so that puts me at um, eight and then I eat a sheep is ten so then my last action can be whatever I want it to be wood I think uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I actually cannot build that room, that um, thing, because of the uh, fence builder. So instead, what I'll do is I'll do it like that, and that'll let me get maximum. Uh, maximum point still and I'll do that play cooking hearth return the fireplace so yeah two plow maker plows are enough for me to fill get maximum points on that
So I, ha I went up to nine. So yeah, I should have, I should have only spent five wood here. So yeah, that's correct. And now to feed four food, one from my spindle, uh, one boar, and one sheep. So boar and sheep are five, four, and spindle is ten. So that's all the feeding I need to do here. So I want to have a really good plow sow action next round. So I should grab grain. Don't need to do it here necessarily, but grain's not accumulating. So yeah, I can do it here, no problem. And then I think I'm going to do stone exchange on family growth. And this gets removed from the game because that's the rules in a... Uh, I guess clay is probably going to be worth more to me. Wood is likely not worth anything because I'm more likely to get pottery over the joinery because I have more clay available. Okay, and then uh, two more moves. So one's going to be playing plowmaker because plowmaker is non accumulating. I guess I could play Chief as well here, but I think I'll do, I want to play Chief's Daughter no matter what, so yeah, just play Plow, Plowmaker, and then, uh, what? Mm. Two more moves. I do need Reed. So if I was going to build the basket maker's workshop, it would be worth it getting letting it get up to 9 because then I can reno basket maker's workshop and then eat one reed in the final harvest. So that goes that's would leave me with maximum points from my basket maker's workshop. Hmm. could take cattle because the cattle start breeding but again accumulating spaces I want to let accumulate before I take them uh, could just build pottery here how much more stone do I have I got four this will go up to five and this will go up to that yeah I think I can afford to build pottery here Although I do like the idea of playing the well because then I get food food per turn and I could also play flag in but what am I going to play flag in with just as a four food action yeah no I have bet I have better than four food actions available to me so we'll play pottery here boom boom and turn Okay. So I'm definitely going to do this. Two fields. So, so, so. And I can afford to eat one of those vegetables. So I have three food from vegetables. And then next action probably I'm going to do a four sheep action almost definitely because that'll get help me get more out of my spindle so where do I hold seven sheep I can hold four here I can hold two here and then one there yeah so I actually don't have room to hold cattle in addition to all these sheep so that's a disadvantage to how I've laid this out. Now I could build a st some stables. So do like um, four wood. And then stables. Thing is, if I do this, 
I'm going to end up eating a bunch of uh, bunch of sheep. I guess I still have one more action. Okay, so how much food do I have here? Two from my spindle, three from one vegetable. That's five. I need ten more. Um, I can eat a boar. That puts me at eight. I can eat a clay. That puts me at ten. So I only need uh, four, five more. If I take cattle here, I can eat one cattle. And it's worth... Uh, for food. I guess I can eat two sheep. So what was it? Um, so vegetable spindle is five, boar is eight, sheep is um, ten. And I actually can eat three sheep. So I only need to get one food with this move. Oh, and then I can eat a clay, I think. Does that work out? So, uh, eat three sheep, six food. Eat a boar, nine food. Two food from spindle, 11. Vegetable is 14. So I do need to get one food with, the, and then clay is 16. Yeah. So that means I can do um, cattle here because either way it's going to accumulate once more. So now my feeding is food, food, spindle, food, 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 vegetable, food, 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 boar, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six sheep, and then eat up clay, 16. There we go. Feed three, each person. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to do a plow sow action no matter what. Oh, I'm going to run out of actions, aren't I? I want to take boar, I want to reno major, reno, I want to reno basket makers workshop. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take clay because I want to play chief's daughter chief as well. And I have to, I'm pretty sure I have to take boar here. So use my swan lake thing to do this. And then take nine. Oh, I need to take stone as well. Oh, I really screwed this game up. Not enough actions. And now, oh, I, I don't even have enough stone. Oh, okay, this was four, that was five, okay. I do barely have enough stone. Yeah, so I didn't plan this ahead very well. So this is not how you're supposed to play solo games. Solo games, you're supposed to have like meticulously planned out what you're going to do. And then last action, uh, eat a cattle to play chief's daughter and chief and have no food left. Hmm. And then how do I feed from here? Two food from spindle, two food from clay, three food. So probably building stables was a mistake. Two food from spindle, two food from clay, three from my reed, a food from a grain, three food from a, uh, from a boar, and then two sheep. Yeah, that works. So there's my final farm. Three bonus points from Chief's daughter, five bonus points from Chief. So what did I score? I scored 62 plus 8, so I hit 70. 
70 is okay. Um, if sheep had come later, my feeding would have been way more difficult. I have no minus points, of course, which is good, but uh, I should have more. Like, I, I could have more points, so. Anyways, that's uh, me taking a quick run at a solitaire game. Um, I didn't even, what some people do is, is they plan out uh, um, when they want actions to come up as well. So like they plan on family growth round five, they plan on sheep round one, they plan on all the accumulating spaces to come as early as they can. Um, I mean, the game went okay. It scored 70, which is reasonable, but you know, for a 10, yeah, for a 10 minus three, it's okay. Um, sometimes people like pick out their hand in advance and plan the whole game and stuff. This is just a quick solitaire game by me with the IK. Um, yeah, I don't play it too often, so I always think I learn a lot when I do. Oh, I forgot to increase my boar, so I probably have 71. Or my cattle, sorry, not my boar. Yes, yeah, so I have 71. Cool. Mm, spindle was okay. I forgot how hard f feeding is in solo games. Yeah. If I'd been able to take that boar here, that would have been another two points. Plus, it probably would have saved me some points on my eating. Actually, I didn't really eat any points. I ate one sheep. So taking boar would have been another three point action because it would have saved me eating one of my, two of my sheep. So I could have had three more points if I had done the boar take. Yeah, worked out okay. And I could have had another three points if I'd taken three clay. So needed a couple more actions. Seventy-one. Okay, and still not really anyone around playing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna call it for today. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.